to one hey what's everybody willing to be live i am your host dj anthony new jersey that's madison california with two friends talking we're not giving any medical advice so we check with health health professionals hey listen uh best bit of advice you've ever been given in your life uh, magnus for me i mean there's so much advice that people have probably given us at this point right we're, we're 50 years old we probably heard a lot from a lot of people um i guess you know something that sticks out to me uh was i guess if you want to call it advice a while back not, and this wasn't even in my my childhood it was like as an adult Someone said to me, Anthony, I'm probably going to mess this up, but, um, you know, a good musician never blames his instrument, you know, so basically always take responsibility. Don't point fingers. Don't say, oh, well, I would have done this, but the car didn't work, or I would have done that, but the uh, computer didn't work. Or, I would have done this, but uh, the bus came late. No, no, no. You know, or, or a musician, right? I would have done this, but the guitar, the guitar didn't work. We can yeah. most of this stuff, you know, so to say, you know, so I so that person said to me, you know, Anthony, uh, a good musician never blames his instrument. So meaning take responsibility. We control most things in life. So, yeah. So basically, like I hate when no. people tell me, oh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm late. There was traffic. That's not an excuse. You know, you know, there's traffic. We live in the tri-state area, city yeah. area. There's always traffic. So blame yeah. yourself. Don't blame the traffic. You then you leave earlier or you don't then don't accept the invitation to come or do whatever. Yeah. So Magnus, what bit of advice sticks out in your mind that someone gave yeah, you? No, for, first off, I think your your bit of advice is really, really good. I, I think that like accountability it goes a long way. And yeah. and I think that the, the saying of of showing up is half the battle. And and that go they go a little bit of hand in hand, you know, like because I think there's so many times that we're you know, we get a little bit too too comfortable, which I would segue into my 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 uh, if, what I'm going to talk about in a little bit here. But like actually like responsibility, because no one is going to come and save you like like th that. That would have happened. It was like if you're reading a lot of fantasy that you believe in that or, or like watching too many movies. It, 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 we're not living in Hollywood. It, it, you're, like the Hollywood writers are not writing our lives. So we, you, whoever is listening and think like, you need to take responsibility. You need to show up on time. You need to do the preparation and whatnot, you know, and also believe a little bit in yourself that actually showing up, I mean, it, it's, it's a big part. Just showing up is a big part, especially nowadays, I would say, because there's yeah. too many people living with FOMO, like fear of losing out. Like, come on, man. I mean, uh, or missing out. But it's, it's yeah, it is it is what it is. And segueing into what I have to say, it's basically get comfortable being uncomfortable. Right, right, true. Dude. People, that, you know, by the way, that I think what you just said is the number one reason why most people don't, rise to the level that they want or 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 why most people are not successful and i'm not necessarily talking about money but like i think that's the number one reason what you just said you know most people are not comfortable with being uncomfortable you know most people don't want to get up and do whatever to to be the winner to be to be that successful person you know oh i don't want to i don't want or 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 i i don't want to eat healthy that's uncomfortable eating healthy you know it makes you yeah. make good. or i don't want to go to the gym i, I don't want to go to the gym either i'm a human but i go like i don't want to i don't want to do i don't want to study hard because then uh, i don't want to do it well then you're going to be a loser you're not you know uh so it's your yeah, or at least or at least your life is going to be way harder and you're also going to start asking yourself why you are not getting all the breaks because it's 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 hilarious you know like it's yeah, the breaks, like, you make your own breaks. And yeah, and, and life is uncomfortable. I mean, it, at least unless you, you, you want to have any type of success because you have to put some time and effort in. Yes, yeah. of course, there's the outliers that are genetically blessed and, and can do sports or whatnot, you know, but still to be the top of the top, you still have yeah, to work hard. Working. Listen, 100%. And, and and I, to be honest, and this is coming from a trainer, like oh, we're supposed to love training. I like, I'm excuse my French, but I it fucking sucks going to the gym a lot of times. Of course, they were interviewing uh, Olympic swimmers, and they said, "What do you what do you you know think about going every morning to swim?" And uh, nine out of ten of them said, "I hate getting in the water every morning. Yep. I do not want to do it. I don't like it. It's freezing cold." So I mean, these are people that you know, and these are Olympians. So I mean, yep. yeah, I think I think a lot. Of, I think that that separates the winners from losers in life the winners they're not gifted by the way they're just hard tenacious 
discipline. They can absorb, like you said, uncomfortability, absorb failure, and they can keep going and going and going and they, they never stop. You know, someone I was thinking about, um, I forgot who it was, but, uh, oh, um, I was talking to somebody who got a degree in uh, film production. I did a DJ at a mm-hmm. party for them uh, two days ago, yesterday. And, you know, I said to him, this young, this young guy, he, he just got his degree. I said, you know, they asked um, the guy, uh, oh, damn it, I always forget his name. He played Han Solo in Star Wars. Uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. They asked Harrison Ford, you know, how did you make it in Hollywood? He's like, well, I, I, I'm not better than anybody. I don't have any gifts. He's like, but I did one thing. He's like, I went to Hollywood from uh, wherever he grew up in middle America. He's like, I went to Hollywood. And he's like, I was going to, my plan was just stay there forever. And eventually I'll get something. And sure enough, he's like, all I did was outlast my competition. So when my competition, the guys and girls who started in Hollywood back in the late 60s with me, by 73, they gave up. He's like, I just kept going. And when they gave up and moved back home, I was the last person standing for, for my group of people, whatever, my yeah. generation. And I just, you know, just like 80 percent of life success show up. Right. And to your sense, to your point, he was he got comfortable with being uncomfortable. So he became a carpenter and he just started to work. And that's how he paid for his life. But he never stopped auditioning. And so to your point, you have to be uncomfortable and that's where the success is. The best fruit is at the top of the tree where it's dangerous and, and it's and it and it sucks and it's hard, not at the low end, you know. But so many people give up and, and they um I, I'm not against giving up, by the way. I think if you think you tried and you and you say, Hey, I gotta fold, that's cool. Yeah. As, as long as you think you gave it your best, then who am I to judge? But I mean like or, or financially, you might not be able to make it. But like, again, you can look at Harrison Ford as an example, like having a, a day job and then still continuing. And that's still like, that's kind of my philosophy is that, well, find something like start out finding something that gives you a paycheck and then try to level up. Right. You can you can be your side hustle. Hustle can become your main hustle. Right. And that might be something that you love. It's just that you you. You have to you have to play your cards right in that that way too. You know, like you you have to work long term, but you also need to have some kind of stability to be able to achieve certain things. Right? It's the same thing. Me like going to school again. It's it's an investment. I mean, like I definitely don't like going to school, and I think I'm like actually overqualified for for. Right. But I need a piece of paper. So for me, it's just like, well, that is the loophole. I have to get through it. That is by my bottleneck and to kind of move on and move forward with it. So like there, there, there's, there's no denying me in this case. Right. No, like, I, I, I will be successful. I will succeed. I will get my, my, my degree or whatever and, and, and move on because I've done it so many times before. So right. th- like, yeah. Whatever, yeah. man. Like, yeah. f- throw whatever you want at me. I'll I'll continue grinding because I need this, you know. Yeah. And that's the uncomfortability, like you said. You know, uh, getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. Yeah. And we all know that even building muscle, right? You have to break yeah. muscle down, stress it out to make it become stronger. You have to get uncomfortable. And uh, I always say, pressure makes diamonds. But mm-hmm. you know, so many people fold up or don't want to try, or they say, oh, "I tried for two minutes or two days or two years." Maybe you know it takes ten thousand hours, ten years, you know. But anyways, or I mean, it's it's the same thing. Going back to looking at a, a like with the, when talking about podcasts and like like how how few people actually keep on working. Yeah. What was it you said after they give up? I, after- I, I think it was like seven episodes or seventeen right. episodes, like very very short, and and. And it's the same thing, like like looking at us. Well, well how many are we going on? We, three we have, years. We have about three years, and we have more, yeah. We have over three hundred episodes. Yeah. We're like four hundred oh, and change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, of course, you've done way more than I have. But but looking yeah. at it, like, and if it's just you and I that are that are doing this, like, th- this is good for, for. I mean, this is educational. This is yeah. also like some type of therapy for me. And I think it's for you too. Oh, yeah, of course. And and like if people like to join in and listen to our conversations, so be it. You know, I yeah, mean, yeah. and 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 I think that you know, like it's the same thing when everybody oh, the overnight success, but then ever she seen like the ten years of struggle. Like you look at it, like like Kevin Hart, like when he he just working, 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 right? right? And and finally got his big break and and oh overnight success oh no 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 that's not 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 how it is and I mean it's the same thing go out and look at 
at certain um, professional uh, players. I mean, they they oh no no they like they were sitting in the background, but then when someone got injured, unfortunate or whatever, Brady, you know. yeah, they they pop in and they they they're successful, you right. know, and then because yeah. they they grab their chance, you know, right. but they keep on they keep on fighting for it. Yep. Now, what advice in closing? What advice would you give somebody? Uh, it's graduation season for high schoolers and college kids. What advice would you give somebody, Magnus, for right now? There's a time and place for yeah. There's a time and place for everything. It's just it's just being smart about it. Like now, like young people, I know it's hard, like getting out into like either going like might moving away to a different state, country, whatever. Uh, but be bold. Like be bold. Like go out. Like try things out there's yeah. nothing wrong like you said there's nothing wrong with saying oh well i didn't it, like it's not for me or i'm like i'm not successful at it. i'm not good at it it's that's perfectly fine but find something else instead yeah yeah to your point uh kind of uh, piggyback on that i think um, i used to have this quote on my desk and i think voltaire uh, said it and that is um it says um cowards die many times before their deaths but the valiant never taste of death but once so yeah. meaning hey you're gonna die once. Don't don't live a life of regret where I could have, should have, would have, or yeah. try to have as least amount of regret as possible. Because I also believe if you live long enough, you're gonna have some regrets. That's oh, 100 percent. But 100%. you don't want to be full of regrets. Where so that Voltaire's thing is right. You know, make sure you die once because if you kick yourself for not asking that girl out or not asking that guy out or not going on that trip or not trying to get that degree or not whatever, you know, like you know, exercise, whatever it may be, right? Jumping, jump, jump, jumping behind the turntables. Correct. So better to fail, you know, but, but at least you tried and you failed. You don't want to live with, you want to live with uh, as least amount of regret as possible. You only want to die once. And so I always try to tell myself that, you know, the, it, it's okay to die, but only die, try to die once. Don't yeah. have regrets. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So anyways, that's excellent advice on your part, my part. And uh, that's all I got to say, folks. So, uh, that's all I got to say as well, guys. So check back in. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to sign us off in five, four, three, two, bye -bye. one. Bye.